Hello, hello, and welcome back to Star Wars Empire at War with Zinger's Empire. We are going to be looking at taking Orocco as our primary objective today. We've already taken the orbital space around this planet, but it is very well fortified with quite the hefty armoured garrison with a lot of these uh, mobile command bases and juggernauts, as well as the capacity of four AT-ATs from two advanced factories. So that's going to be very tough indeed, and I think we need to go for actually uh, a raptor focus landing perhaps with a canvas assault tank or spmat to back, back them up uh, because of course those uh, vehicles are more focused on their anti-vehicle weaponry so raptors should perform okay against them so we are spamming out more of those from our cloning facility on wayland we're also going to use taras to create more spmats and we're going to create even more canvas assault tanks from uh, mandalore we're also creating a couple Star Destroyers for Zinj over on Dathomir so that we can actually get him out and working with his new Executor Super Star Destroyer. We're also going to look at creating some more ships for Zenkin's fleet over here. So I think once again, actually, more uh, Imperial Star Destroyers will be needed there. And we're going to back that up, I think, with even more... Uh, victories but of course we've uh, run down our coffers once again with all the ongoing construction in this area. Furthermore we're going to be looking at taking Ton Falk and probably Mercana over here. We do have full vision on this planet and the greatest threat is of course this Lucra Hulk carrier. That's not going to be the biggest threat in itself as long as we uh, position correctly for that. I think really the way to go though is to in fact stealth take this planet because we have a lot of stealth heroes in the area there's no defensive forces on there's no barracks no light factories only the local office to provide some uh, units there but otherwise nothing really no standing garrison which is excellent so that means we can't expect them to build anything either which is brilliant so we can probably leave that until we've taken Orocco. It's pretty much the same over on Mercana as well. Nothing really over there, just a light factory, uh, which is brilliant for us. So, actually, while we're waiting for our constructions to finish, we will invade Ton Falk. So we'll assemble a strike team. We have Uri Fen over here. Let's bring him above the planet. We should have all of our stealth heroes here. We certainly do. We can also recruit the Corona Frigate, which is excellent if we take Kuat. That will be an upgrade to replace our uh, Nebulon Bs. And that's only because we've made it finally to Era 4 that far into the campaign and we've not really broken out too much, uh, which is a bit of a shame, really. Not being really that aggressive. But, you know, sometimes circumstances don't allow you to. That's absolutely fine. So on Mirka to defend, uh, we're going to begin with a light factory, planetary generator and heavy factory there. Uh, let's see, yeah, we're overcompensated on uh, Wayland, that's not a problem, we're expecting heavy losses coming up. Uh, so let's just put these units onto the ground, like so, and we'll invade on Tonfalk. So, it's a very interesting planet, this. Uh, we're going to rush your FN up to this area too. Actually, no, we'll rush him up to this area to get the extra uh, command post there. And we'll bring in our Knight Sister and everyone else over here while he's doing that. Can he sprint? No, but he can stealth. So we get a lot of command posts and we get a lot of these abandoned factories on our way. So we can get a lot of hefty reinforcements. Uh, the idea is at least to destroy the ion cannons so that we have a much easier time in the orbital space of the planet. We'll move this slot over to this command post as well. Your fen is doing okay. We should be able to construct over here. We have captured that, so we'll create some turrets. Lovely. We'll just fast forward through this to begin with. We're going to be struggling with anti-vehicle damage, aren't we? So we want to create as many of those as possible, as well as create somewhere to retreat back to for ourselves. Let's create or uh, capture this factory. Let's build up over here. Lovely. And over here. What do we get out of this? We get T4As. That's absolutely 
Very, very useful indeed with their AV cannons. Let's move up over here and capture this. We will be expecting some strike breakers out of their office buildings. We also might want to capture this abandoned factory or mining facility rather. What do we get out of here? Some snow speeders. We can use those to patrol, I think, but they'll probably be shot down by yeah, the turbo lasers. We do see. That's absolutely fine. Not a huge amount, actually. Yeah, throw away units, we don't mind losing them. If we capture these, we can garrison inside here, I think. Ah, uh, there we go. So, let's garrison in here. I think we're going to get some two units, not a problem. Let's move up over to this area. Because there's an abandoned garrison of some sort. Okay, so we get some sort of mercenaries. It's not a problem, very useful indeed. And there's actually the ion cannon. That's an infantry only pathway, I believe. Uh, can these move on there? No, they can't. That's absolutely fine. Let's move over here then and protect that area where the enemy's vehicles can move. Capture this, create a battery healing station, pull up more reinforcements over here while we're waiting. Fast forward. I'm not going to bother bringing in Tyberzan actually. He's very fragile. And I think really I want to move him to Zinja's previous fleets so he can be the commander there. Okay, so let's take all his infantry. And move up to the arm cannon at least. Lovely stuff. And we'll start using the thermal detonators, of course. There we go. Lovely. Lovely. Use that. Not too worried about the turbo laser tower. We can bypass that. We'll just uh, take cover to minimise any damage. Since he's actually getting some decent hits in, not a bother. Should be able to get to the other side of that uh, base shield, which should help us out. There we go, let's move straight in then. No need to worry too much. I don't actually remember where. There's the uh, generator for it. Oh, I did some fair damage to it, actually. That's okay. Move over. We do see an anti infantry turret, so we use the Eurofen and forget this man's name. Charlie Venon on that. You know, and while there's no one on the office, this will take some time, but we can do some good damage to that before it has an opportunity to churn out any extra reinforcements for the enemy. We've dealt with that turret. Um, is that able to fire inside here? Just wait for us again. Yeah, that is. So that build pad is not an option for us, but this one is. Oh, bloody hell, that does have some range, that uh, turret, doesn't it? Move out of the way. Move up his head. Should be fine there. Another detonator would be great. Start working on the shield generator. Because you do need to remove every single building, I believe. We can just speed up there. There we go, lovely. Focus that down once again. Now should just move over to here, like here, right. And the enemy's retreating. Great stuff. <laughs> Alrighty. Gotta love it. Well, that saves us a lot of time. I think we need to move in and destroy the orbital uh, units there then, don't we? Let's make sure we have a good amount of units there. The right Pathfinder, and we'll move straight in. Alrighty, so we know from playing Fall of the Republic that you need to hit a uh, Luke Hulk from one side in particular. Because, of course, its arcs of fire are very specific to the direction the guns sit on. So what we do is we put a fairly tanky ship, like an Imperial Star Destroyer, at range, at the front over here. And then I think we wait for that to move in. We'll try and take that. And what we can do is move on to this side, I think, because the nebula's going to hurt us a little bit there. We have another couple of Star Destroyers. We'll just put the rest of our fleet over in this area, to be honest. It doesn't hurt. Put this guy over here, just out of the way a tad. 
And with all of these ion cannons, we should be able to batter through this uh, Lulkahawk very, very quickly indeed. We are, of course, going to put some Nebulons and Lancers ahead of this ship because uh, we will be seeing a lot of fighters, of course, out of a carrier. You know, that's sort of what the name implies there. Get some surveys out as well. Not been using surveys too much ourselves, have we? Get some of these bolt cruisers out. Lovely. Now let's focus this very hard indeed and focus firepower so we do get those iron cannons working. And they're going to retreat. So let's get those engines. Everyone focus engines, please. Do not want this to escape. We don't have an interdictor, unfortunately. And that, come on. There we go. Lovely. Oh, that is an amazing prize to take that Lutger Hulk. It's very expensive. And I don't believe they can actually create anymore because we've taken all of their capital tier shipyards. Actually, I think they come out of uh, tier fours, don't they? So that's even better. Yeah, only level one's left for them now. Going to move our administrator over and uh, do some good housekeeping there. That's brilliant stuff. So what else do we want to do? We want to look at uh, what else is in this area of space. I think we're going to create another probe droid to double check Mong Calamari and uh, Takana over there. You've got to say, ravioli, ravioli, what's in the pocket only? We're going to move back on over here to double check the rest of our construction as well. We can finally take all of these raptors off of Wayland. Because we don't need them to uh, sit idly by there anymore. Move them over to Morocco. Get the SPMATs over. Uh, an enemy here has been defeated somewhere, which is great. Mm, take these Candace assault tanks. And, oh, we see on Mindor a huge enemy fleet with five Secusers and two Imperials. That's absolutely disgusting. We do need to hit that. They don't have a hypervelocity cannon. They have a lot of ground units as well. A lot of those. Okay, that's absolutely going to be looking to hit um, Mirka, isn't it? How do we want to respond to that? We move Zinj over immediately to protect Mirka. We move this guy back, don't we? Okay, and I don't want to lose that. That's the problem. I think that will sit tightly there for a minute. I think that will sit tightly there for a minute. Could I move these over? Like so. Hmm. That shouldn't attack us for now with Zinj over over there. Uh, uh, you know, shouldn't is the uh, massive word there. We have 16 raptors over here. That should be that should be fine, shouldn't it? 16 raptors. Uh, let's take another Candace assault tank for good luck because, you know, insurance is you know, my watchword. Insurance and caution. While we're waiting, we'll move over these uh, probe droids to Takana and Mon Calamari. And we'll start building up over here. Let's get. Um, it's not much point in taxing this actually because it's only 50 base income. So get a couple of these up. Alright, so let's land on Oroka. Alright, so we can act fairly quickly. We've uh, got some local garrisons out. That's not in a position to actually take anything. Looks like the New Republic garrison's out as well. We need to immediately land with some raptors. I think we'll take three units of raptors and just one Candorus for now. Yeah, we're just going to lose these. Can we actually pick up any build pads down here? We could probably pick up this one. What's that? An enemy one building anti vehicle type. We already see an ATAT. -AT. That's absolutely disgusting. Take cover. Focus this down. Great stuff. And get the Candorus in range there. That shouldn't be able to turn its head. Oh, it can. Alright, lovely stuff. <laughs> Alright, see, if you say so. We have an abandoned turbo laser on our start. We need to just sit defensively, don't we? Halt it. Oh, is that a trample us? It's up to trample us. Get another. There we go. Let's pull back to the range of the turbo laser tower, please. You can focus this. This is tracked, isn't it? So 
Uh, it doesn't. S oh, it can crush infantry. Let's pull back. <laughs> Let's pull back a tiny bit. Actually, get some of these down where possible. These mines. Lovely. Pull back. Pull back. Uh, let's get over here. We've already lost some Raptors. Let's get an SMAT down. It's very uh, choke pointy. Bloody hell. Yeah. <laughs> get rid of these walkers very quickly. Because they'll rip a part of infantry. Wish we had a uh, closer. Oh, crike. Oh, crike on a bike. Oh, crike on a bike. That's not ideal. Finish off that one. Righty hell. There's <laughs> too many places to focus on. Apologies from a tad on the quiet side. Look at this. Look, let's finish off that one. We can snipe that. We've got some very strange line of sights over here. Nah, there we go. Let's get on top of that firehawk, please. With everything we have, we're being rinsed of these raptors. Uh, that's uh, just taking too much time there. Uh, let's. There's no point in building out at the moment. Well, that's about. Get some of those down. Um, we've got to hit that ACA, so haven't we? We are in range. Excellent stuff. We're getting a lot of headshots. Wish that were a, a real mechanic. Let's push up. Push up. So maybe we can take this and get it back to healing station down. Anti armor mines up, please. Lovely. Focus this down, would be great. What are you on? Let's control group these so that we can just do it on the fly. Nothing else in range just yet. We do see, of course, some stormtroopers. Deal with that. Uh, can we focus that down? Are we in range? We certainly have sight on that. <laughs> Let's pull back to the back to station. We're all in range there. Lovely. Lost an abandoned turbo laser tower, have we? Oh, it's because we need to sit on top of that, otherwise the enemy will take it. Is that, yeah, that AT-80's down. How many is that? Three? Is that three AT-80's down? <laughs> Only one more then. <laughs> if we're lucky. Alright. Oh, how the bloody hell do you get so close? Don't like that close to the SMAT at all. Um, and are we going to capture this or, or not? Right. Why is minimum range a thing? Uh, can we be cheeky and get down some mines right on top of these things? It's not going to make much difference at this point. Oh, we're going to lose that SMAT. But it's okay, we have some in reserve. Uh, we're forgetting to use bombing runs, but you know what? I think we've held our ground okay so far. Um, you know what? SMAT is not the way to go at the moment. We need kind of assault tanks and more infantry. Uh, having said that, there's another <laughs> other AT-80 <laughs> struggling with the terrain here to get the uh, infantry. Is that just oh, the scout troop? Is interesting. Uh, yeah, we're being focused here. Let's just pull back. Hopefully that's out of range. Better shields regenerate there. Bloody hell. Yeah, we're not getting hold of that turbo laser tower anymore, are we? Oh, we do now. Finally clears some infantry out of the way. Let's push up over here a tiny bit. We should be able to finish this off now. Let's not focus on our Candorous units. <laughs> Maybe we can take a command post. That would be brilliant, wouldn't it? Hear a kaboom about to happen. Alright, what do we actually want to make over here? Wow. <laughs> I mean, the dream is to make the enemy retreat, isn't it? Alright. Let's move up over here. Another mobile command base. So they come in companies of two, don't they? I can't remember. We've destroyed quite a few though. More vehicles and more infantry, the way to go here. 
Uh, let's actually bring down some of these to help out against enemy infantry. Uh, I want to capture this, not destroy it. I want to capture this, not destroy it, please guys. We actually have some build pads to make use of. Are we struggling with terrain over here again? That's interesting. What do we see over here? Oh my crike. <laughs> We've destroyed this, we could have got our own ACAT <laughs> Uh Why do they also fire on neutral buildings though? That's the question. Unless I was misreading that. I'm not sure. It's the enemy tax protection agency, you might as well get rid of that so we're not also firing once again. And we'll create the pair station down here. <laughs> This is just hectic. <laughs> uh, we see another mobile base. Let's pull our infantry down. Uh, yeah, recon is the end of the game here. Let's focus on these. And test how good these are out actually against the uh, infantry. Actually pretty decent. Did have some rockets there. Let's pull back. Push up here. Absolutely shred. Let's move. Actually, the turbo laser's doing okay there. That's nice. Okay. Push up to actually destroy that, do we? Oh my crike. <laughs> it's just too much. Um, let's pull back here. That was a mistake to pull that massive group over just for this because we. Ooh. Oh, I should have seen that coming. <laughs> oh my dear. Oh, I've had enough. <laughs> Honestly, I've had enough. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. Will those bombs drop here to catch that? No, that's okay. That's okay, we can do with that. A lot of health on these things. 900 health on those uh, factories. Wow. Okay, well we just need to uh, mop up now. Lovely. Easy game. Go turp. They're even retreating. Honourable retreat. Look at that. Six raptors and an SPMAT. Um, you know what? We're shitting out raptors from Wayland. It's not a problem. SPMATs, a little bit of a costly one. But it's not a problem. So the plan originally was to simply move the Sifkrit garrison over to Morocco, wasn't it? We'll move uh, this young man over as well. Question remains then, how do we deal with the question of Mindor? Because that's a lot, a lot of... I think it's time to use Zenkins, perhaps. What we can do... This could just get very, very costly. Secutors aren't the most damaging of ships in themselves. Uh, oh, they've dropped a lot, actually. Well, why is the question? Well, we don't have time to ask questions. We only have time to reinforce Zinj with this uh, ISD and then move in to take that, I think, while it is, in fact... Um, yeah, lowered in number. I was going to uh, recruit more victories as well. Actually, wasn't I? Oh, we can do that from death, man. I'll do that just now while I remember. Just get four of those up. Just a simple four. We go straight into this. Righty, so we should probably have brought in uh, maybe an interdictor to start with. Uh, but that's absolutely not a problem. What we can do is just shove his engine in their face, really. Lovely, he can take this. Wait for them to start focusing the firepower, bring the ISD a little further back here. And it's very tempting to buy the reinforcements from Zinch here, but our money for what we want to build is a tiny bit tight at the moment. Come on, let's focus this. Let's get on to the turbo lasers. Actually, let's get on some ion cannons where we can, because we do have a huge shield capacity here. We'll just uh, start microing the tiniest bit. 
Yeah, an interdictor is probably the next uh, order of business for this particular fleet. Uh, because I wouldn't have put it past this fleet to simply retreat out as soon as we entered. I certainly would have done. But, uh, you know, there you go. Let's get rid of the precursor. Don't like enemy precursors. Get rid of those shields. Lovely. There we go, actually. So, engines, if we can get on that. Lovely. Engines of this enforcer would be great. Rip that apart. I mean, not quite got time to rip apart this ship, but that's absolutely fine. We've got the heavy hitters. Uh, ISDs, as we know from recent experience, are rather expensive to uh, to recruit, aren't they? They really start piling up, which is why we've not seen uh, Zinja's executor until now. But look at that, we've got a lot of ships very quickly, actually. Very happy with that. So the question is, do we just take Mendor? Because really... Mirk is not very defensible. It's really not. Uh, what do they have on Mendog? While well, we can see, they've got bugger all there. It's a fair map. It's a very defensive map, actually. That is very, very defensive. We, we don't have indirect fire artillery, but neither do the enemy at the moment over there. So we're going to take the Mirk garrison, uh, which is fine. Uh, we do have quite a lot of raptors here. So that really should be fine to take stuff on there. We can pick up from Sifkrik as well. Yeah, let's take everything from there. Absolutely rush the buggers. Take that on. That'd be great stuff. So it's not the direction we wanted to take today, but it's certainly a good one. All right, so we immediately, come on, I said immediately, <laughs> take some build pads. And we're going to bring in uh, we're bringing two cameras assault tanks, bring in two raptors, because you can never have enough raptors. Build anti-vehicle turret there, anti-infantry there, another anti-vehicle, and we don't need a repair thing. We're going to build this actually, these turrets, in thinking about the future. So if we have these turrets down, as soon as the enemy lands, assume they might land later on, they'll get shot at by these turrets, which is absolutely brilliant. Optimally, you'd probably swap these around because anti-vehicles have greater range, but I, I don't like playing optimally. It's a bit. It's a bit. Takes the fun out of games, I think, playing completely optimally. Not about it. There we go, rip apart the infantry, as we bloody should do. We do see some walkers, but really, mass raptors will sort out these walkers. Let's just move up. Although our Candorous units do seem to get their mass drivers onto that walker, which is great. Rip apart that infantry. Do see an anti air and anti vehicle turret. So, we'll just focus actually the ATPTs because they're going to be bad news for our Raptors. Get rid of this. They do have two standard blaster rifles. There we go. Lovely stuff. Get on top of the ATPT. Thank you. There we go. And uh, we do have control of this. So, we have a distinct lack of floating fortresses, which is a shame. Start using some Mandalorian infantry. Lovely. Excellent work. Excellent work. Let's then think about, once again, think about the future and place some things a tiny bit strategically. What's that? Anti vehicle, anti infantry turret, rather. Not a problem. Just walk this over. Siege tower! <laughs> We're being treated today. Oh, look at that. You've got to love the sound of the Mandalorian uh, guns as well. This doesn't actually trample, so that's great. That will hurt our Candorous tanks. So we'll just send the infantry against that and sit these at range, I think. Get this on the flank as well. Oh, there's such beauties in the siege towers. Alright, so we want the pair on there and a back to here. And that 
It says it's a Thai crawler. That is really struggling with the terrain, so we'll uh, laugh at that. Uh, it's not struggling anymore. <laughs> not a problem. <laughs> Great stuff. Let's move up quickly and just deal with that. Send a small contingent over to uh, deal with this command post as well. And we'll send the rest of the units up the main alleyway here. Do you see a speeder of some sort? Get rid of that time all before it rips past the infantry. Another one here. Okay, so maybe we should actually send a Candorous unit over here. It's fat, we'll send both Candorous units over because this is actually quite a hard area now. Let's focus firepower onto the weaker units. Another siege tower coming there. Okay, let's pull back. We do though have a repair turret there, or station. Pull back. Sit here. Infantry is slow because some of them are on take cover. Uh, we do have one population point left. So I think we hold the ground here. Sit the infantry out actually here. And bring in some throwaway infantry. Lovely. Lovely. Get rid of that turret. Hits the light factory. Uh, they do have a planetary generator, so or shield generator. So we can't bring in bombardments, unfortunately. We will have to hit that advanced factory, because that's likely what's bringing out those siege towers. But we can shoot that for our... Uh, that's an interesting one, that. It's interesting we can see those uh, tight crawlers going around. Oh, that's the last of the uh, siege towers anyway. Not a bother. Uh, get rid. Come on. Nope. Oh, that was a bit silly. Mm, just force away through here. Miss clicking. There we go. And we'll deal with that uh, tax agency there. That might encourage the enemy to think about retreating. Let's move this up so it's definitely got range. And we'll start building turrets just in case we do get attacked fairly soon. We'll bring these around to flank as well, of course. Ah, they get a retreat. Lovely stuff. Not a bother. That serves me very well indeed. And despite taking a few minor losses, that didn't amount to a true loss, which is absolutely brilliant. I think with infantry, they have like a core squad to each unit. And uh, that core squad is what counts when uh, it calculates a loss. We see something on Galanor. What is this exactly? Say MC80 Adar Talon. It's, hmm, interesting. Okay. Might want to hit that actually. Might just want to hit that. What do we have in this uh, Zenkin's fleet? Not loads and loads. This was a Tector, wasn't it? And this is a minor frigate. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I think we can take that on. We can certainly take that on. To do a bit of housekeeping with our infrastructure, because we want to get our infrastructure score to about 200. Mon Calamari still looking fairly open for a stealth raid. I want to get to uh, Takana first, though. Uh, what do we need on the ground of Ton Falk? We need second heavy factory, or third actually, to really help that out. Get a lot of good production on that, and a good production on our ship upkeep. That's uh, 20 credit reduction. That does add up. Uh, so Mindor, a bit of everything, really. Yeah, it's not very good uh, defensive in the orbital space, but that's not what we're thinking of with that planet. So Araka is pretty much going to be the same. Now I'll take this over. That's two of those. 
Destination confirmed. We can hit Galanor, I think. And actually get some use out of Zenkins, because he's been sat idle, taking up our pop space, which we tried so desperately hard for to actually increase. Uh, we actually need to start using it now. So double check our Pathfinder. So, lovely, easy to destroy cruiser. But they've backed themselves up, unless I just completely missed it, with a Bulwark 3. Uh, <laughs> and an MCAC Home 1. This is an excellent catch. Absolutely excellent catch. So, uh, we'll just tell this ship to move up to back us up. And it doesn't help us really doesn't help us out to sit back at range because of course the New Republic relies on fighters. Uh, so we're just going to move up right in their face once again. Zenkins can take the damage uh, being a praetor to. And right we'll put Moving these up. either side. We do want to put this uh, young woman back. She's a quasar actually so she should bring in some fighters of her own. But she I'm does in ready. fact boost our capital ship's damage which is absolutely bloody brilliant. Absolutely bloody brilliant. Make a bit of a pack on the side here as well. So the next thing as well is to create some sort of minor frigates and corvettes over here, isn't it? Get rid of that Bothan Assault Cruiser, very nice indeed. Uh, focus on the hero over here, because that's the main objective. So yeah, she increases our gunnery by 10% for capsules and space stations, which is just disgusting. Uh, we focus this uh, massive, massive problem here next. Because they're starting to penetrate through Zenkin's shields, I think. Alright, let's focus down some of the half points here. Lovely. Lovely. We are going to take losses here, but it's not too much of a bother as long as not Zenkin's. And any heroes? Let's get on top of this. Really focus these massive, massive heavy turbo lasers down. Interestingly, despite having loads of these hard points, they're only single turbo lasers. They're not dual, they're not quads, or even the uh, dreaded octuple turbo lasers. So they do lose a lot of their worth when you destroy these things. Zenkins, I think really he can start getting this Bothan Assault Cruiser down. Are you okay to get rid of this Assault Frigate? I think so. You can see that MC-80 is not producing a lot of firepower itself, so once we get rid of these uh, Frigates, we'll be looking a lot better. We will use power of weapons on the next ship we target. Actually no we won't because that is pretty much nearly down already. We have sorted that will work. So, that's pretty much the worst of it over. We power some weapons, and is this going to survive, is the question. Mm, no, it's not. I don't think we've even got time, because of that hesitation, to pull back, which is a shame. Let's get on top of these Y-wings. Oh, we've ripped through the shields here. That is absolutely brilliant. There you go, absolutely superb victory there as the enemy decided to retreat out for us. Uh, we got a lot of good capital ships there and of course a one-off hero in the form of Adar Talon. Um, and we didn't lose anything ourselves, which is excellent. Always a bonus. We can never take that as a given. So, let's pull back to a bro of Sky, garrison that. Uh, enemies about to invade some Largus. Once again, we've got no one really close. I wonder if that's going to be the massive bloody Secretor Task Force, actually. Hmm. Move that this way, actually. System loss. We'll see what that was then. Hopefully it wasn't too big. Uh, but we'll see. No, it wasn't anything too big because we didn't really have anything defending. So... We'll do this battle very quickly, and I think we want to move to Fader or even Old Mantel because that's going to be the next hard nut to crack and a massive, uh, you know, destruction of the uh, trade center here. We are victorious. 
And actually got some pretty damn decent ground units in that, so that's brilliant stuff. We'll capture that back because it's an excellent early warning sign. Uh, Gringa's group unlocked. I uh, don't know exactly what that brings with it, you know? So we'll Let certainly go. look at uh, guessing that. That's 25,000. That sounds like something very, very juicy indeed. Let's bring us over down from there. That sounds very juicy. I'm very excited to see what that is. It's very likely a Super Star Destroyer again. Uh, you know we're very lacking in those. <laughs> we're certainly lacking in the Space Department. Uh, speaking of which, where's Tiber's Zang gone? Because I want him to actually head this fleet over here. That would be brilliant for it. Do we need anything else for that? Probably some minor frigates and certainly some backup lancers over here. That's all good. That's all very good indeed. We managed to pass through uh, Liana there because he's a stealth hero. We'd want to take that at some point actually because that's excellent with 300 income and a lot of uh, slots there. Mm. Let's see. Let's see. So that was 25,000 outside of discount. We brought it down to 20,000. We can do that. What was the pop on that? Did it say? 210. That suggests... Not exactly a uh, super star destroyer, but maybe something uh, like a battle cruiser once again. So I'd be very happy for that. Yeah, we've uh, reinforced that. We wanted actually a um, interdictor for Zinj, so we'll build one of those while I think about it. Not a problem. And we just carry on with a bit of housekeeping at the moment. We can just sit. Uh, pretty for a small minute, but we do want to spy on Orb Mantel and the surrounding systems there, I think. So let's do that very quickly. Move over to Sutra once again over here. We can bring down this A9. Uh, were we trying to build it over here? Maybe? Certainly want some more units over here either way. Like so. Uh, we get some infantry Recruiting troops. and over Sutric. I have forgotten what we we're going to build. So that's useful. Let's spy on Old Mantel and Corvus. Ah, okay, lovely. Alright, I'm glad we did that. What do we get then? This man looks familiar. Joseph Grunger, Warlord, Ruthless and Unyielding, also commands another Executor. Alrighty, so that's decent. That is very, very decent. He also gets an ability. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Maybe Assault, but it looks like Assassinate to me. Uh, so we'll double check what uh, Ruthless and Unyielding do. So, uh, Ruthless increases damage by 10%, which is absolutely brilliant to have on a Super Star Destroyer, but... Unyielding comes at a cost. We get more defense, but uh, we are not able to retreat from battles, which is very interesting indeed. That means we want to use him on the offense, really, where we've chosen our own defense. At the moment, though, I want to defend Sutra once again because uh, they're certainly building up over there. In fact, they're going to do that very bloody soon indeed. It's just an executor there, and it's the very important executor. Do have a hypervelocity cannon over here. So the move there actually is to fight fire with fire. If it's just the one ship, what we're going to do is be very bloody sneaky. Where's Zinj? He's over here. We're going to move Zinj not onto Sutra. We're going to move him onto Salagus. Wait for Ardis Kane to move over to Sutric. We get the early warning because we have orbital defense there. Um, and then because we now have that interdictor, we can stop him from retreating. Let's pull that together at Mirka. And I think let's go and spy on Orb Mantel. I'll grab his, uh, that's the power of spying there, once again. I don't want to take him on with uh, this group because we'll lose far too much. Far, far too much. And we're out of Popcat once again. In fact, we exceed it. So, what do we see on Fighter? We see another Secutor. We'll get rid of that very soon. And Orb Mantel's pretty open, actually. But it's also surrounded. So you want to destroy its defences by 
taking the surrounding planets. But so what we're going to do is raid Fida for that sector. So we're at Fida. Immediately turn on the gravity well generator, the magic button, so that we can absolutely rinse through this very minor fleet. Minor, but with some heavy hitters, which are expensive to replace. Those are my favourite sorts of losses to inflict on the enemy. We sit back at a good range with the uh, sniper, of course, and we move up with our uh, ships over here. I'm loving the composition of this fleet, where it's uh, focused around brawling. Uh, it's something that Zinj can do. He can do a little bit of everything with his uh, unit roster. Bring this in as well, and then just finish off with some lances, I think. Just group those up in one area, bring some healing about there, and we can certainly bring in a couple of victories. We clump up, don't mind clumping up, it's all good. Oh, wrong button. You seem to think that was the reinforcement button. You can tell I've got a few hundred hours in this game. Uh, <laughs> They yeah, rinse through the Battlehorn bulk, which is great because that's a minor carrier. Do that before it uh, unloads. Let's move up a tad. And we'll, in this battle, actually try to think about our own fighters and bombers. So let's move up. Uh, let's get our bombers over here. Yeah, lovely. Uh, our runners there. Start focusing on that sector for now. We guess our Keldarbis on to the sector. Now, like I said, it doesn't have the greatest amount of firepower as sector, but it will build up if we let it focus on us for a bit of time. Um, yeah, just move up a tiny bit over here. Yeah, they're focusing the Lancer. Lots of Lancer there, not a problem. Lancers come ten a penny. Not entirely sure. Come on, that's a bit silly. We're going to lose that victory at this rate. Not a bother. Not a bother. Not a bother. Can't begrudge something as small as a victory when we're about to remove a massive capsule ship from the enemy. Let's actually mark this a little better so we do remove its firepower that much better. Let's get rid of the heavy dual turbo lasers on the central line. Lovely. We get rid of the quad turbo as well. Even though they're light, they've got the race of fire to really hurt us. And their quads as well. Lovely. Let's pass weapons. We didn't even, that's a crime, didn't even use the aggressor. That's a bit, that's a bit of a shame. <laughs> that's a bit, very much a shame, actually. That's interesting, that class is ISD 2s, is it? Oh, I don't know why that double click uh, got everything there. Let's start again. Interesting. Let's focus on this enforcer. And that is pretty much the victory. We've just got to get rid of the starbase once again. We're making some good money off of this with our salvage income. The cameras get a flip. Not a problem. Let's move up and destroy the starbase. So some minor losses on our side, but it's absolutely fine for getting that sector. I believe they're around 9,000 credits or so to uh, buy. So it's absolutely a nice blow there, a massive net positive for us. We've got victories uh, galore. So, what do you want to do now? Let's see. I think, unfortunately, look at the time guys. That is all we have time for, otherwise that will drag on. We're having too much fun with this Let's Play. Absolutely loving it, because it's starting to go our way a bit more now, now that we're on the uh, offensive. And we have a bit of economy at our back with 10,000 net income. Uh, it's actually put down from 11,000 after recruiting uh, this young man here, but not a bother. So that will be the end of it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Please let me know uh, what you're thinking of this so far in the comments section. It's great to hear your encouragement and any feedback. Uh, but otherwise, have a great week. I shall see you in the future. May all of your nights and days be auspicious. Goodbye.